morning boys and girls and welcome back to another week of online Sunday school. Hopefully you've all had a great week whether you've been back at school or whether you've been at home and the Easter holidays are fast approaching which is really really exciting. So I'm going to pray before we start today. Dear God, I thank you that we can have online Sunday school and I pray that you'll help us to learn more about you today and to learn that you are the way to salvation. Amen. To start off today, we're going to sing and we're going to sing the Salvation Poem, which is a really great song that reminds us that Jesus is the way to salvation. Don't we live in a beautiful part of the world in the morns, boys and girls? And I'm sure when you've been out for your walks, you've noticed in the fields at the moment, there's lots of sheep with their little lambs. And you can see them here. Aren't they so cute? And the Bible tells us um, and mentions different times about sheep and a shepherd. And of course we know that a shepherd is someone who looks after the sheep and sheep need to be cared for and protected. And Lynn as well told us about the shepherd and the sheep in our Bible lesson today. And our memory verse is about the special shepherd. So our memory verse is from the New Testament part of your Bible and it's John chapter 10 verse 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. So we'll say that all together. The Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. This is Jesus speaking about himself. So Jesus is the good shepherd. But Jesus isn't saying that he's a shepherd of sheep. He's a different kind of shepherd. Jesus shepherds people. And in the Bible, God often says that people are like sheep. So Jesus cares for his people and he provides everything they need and protects them. We're going to whisper the first part of the verse, I am the good shepherd. The Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. 
The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. What does that mean? Well, Jesus is the best shepherd because he loves us so much that he willingly died on the cross to pay for our sin. And then he came alive again so that you and I could be saved from our sin and no longer be separated from God because of our sin. So this time we're going to whisper the second part of the verse. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Jesus wants us to follow him, just like sheep follow the shepherd. But first you need to turn away from your sin and say sorry and ask Jesus to forgive you. And then you need to believe in what Jesus did on the cross and trust him. And then you will belong to him and can start to follow him. So instead of the word sheep, we're going to make the sound of the sheep. So let's all hear you say the sound of sheep. Make the sound of sheep. Bah. Okay. The Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the bah. Okay, we'll try that one again. And let's really, really hear your sound of your sheep, the noise of the sheep. The Bible says in John chapter 10, verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the bah. So if, if you've asked Jesus to be your saviour, then keep following him each day by praying and reading your Bible and obeying him. And remember that Jesus will always be with you and care for you and guide you and protect you because he is the good shepherd. So we'll say it one last time all together. John chapter 10 verse 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I can't believe he's talking to those people. You wouldn't see me talking to them. Maybe that's the sort of things the religious leaders were thinking and saying whenever they saw the Lord Jesus spending time with people who they thought weren't as good as them. You see, the religious leaders, they thought that they were better than most people because they obeyed lots of rules. And so they looked down on people and they judged others. But the Lord Jesus, he was different than the religious leaders because he never looked down on anyone and he never judged people because the Lord Jesus is God's son and he is perfect. And even though the religious leaders looked down on people and judged others, the Lord Jesus still loved them and he still cared for them. And the Lord Jesus, he knew what the religious leaders were thinking. And so he told them about a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. And this shepherd, he was a good shepherd. He would have gave the sheep grass to eat and fresh water to drink and he would have protected them from wild animals. And you know, the Bible says that we are all like sheep. Isaiah 53 verse 6 says, We all like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. Maybe you're watching the TV and your mum asks you to help set the table for dinner. But instead of setting the table for dinner, you pretend not to hear and you continue watching the TV. Well, you know, that's going your own way because you have disobeyed your mum. And the Bible says that you should obey your parents. And whenever you go your own way, that's called sin. Sin is disobeying God. And we are all born with sin. And because God is holy and perfect, he can't stand sin. He can't be anywhere near sin. And so he must punish sin. And that punishment is being separated from him forever. Well, the shepherd, he was counting his sheep. Maybe he was putting them into the pen for the night. And so we counted 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Oh, there were only 99 sheep. Maybe he thought he miscounted them. So we probably counted again. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. 
So we're still only 99 sheep. One was missing. Oh, I'm sure the shepherd, he must have been worried about the lost sheep. He was probably worried about the sheep being in danger of wild animals or getting hurt. And you know, boys and girls, you are in danger as well. You are not in the same kind of danger that the lost sheep was in, but you are in danger of being lost from God forever. You see, whenever you go your own way, that makes you lost from God. And God must punish you for going your own way. And that punishment is being separated from him forever. And God, he wants you to know that you are in danger. Well, the shepherd, he went out to look for the lost sheep because he loved and he cared for each one of his sheep. Maybe the shepherd had to scramble over rocks and maybe he hurt himself whilst trying to find the lost sheep. And you know, there's someone who cares for you and loves you very much, even though you have gone your own way. And that person is the Lord Jesus, God's only son. The Lord Jesus, he left heaven and he came to earth where he lived for 33 years. And the Lord Jesus, he was just like you and me. He learned how to walk and how to speak and he had friends. There were times when he felt happy and times when he felt sad. But there was one thing that was different about the Lord Jesus. Because the Lord Jesus, he was perfect. He never sinned. He never went his own way. And even though the Lord Jesus never went his own way, he still died on the cross to take the punishment for your sin so that you could be rescued from being lost from God forever. But you know, the Lord Jesus, he didn't stay dead because three days later, he rose again and he's alive today in heaven. Isn't that brilliant news? Well, the shepherd, he kept looking for the lost sheep. And in the distance, he could hear bleeding and he followed the sound. And eventually, the shepherd found the lost sheep. Oh, I'm sure the shepherd must have been relieved that the sheep that was once lost was now found. And you know, the Lord Jesus can find you and he can be your good shepherd. If you believe that the Lord Jesus can rescue you from being lost from God forever, well then you can ask the Lord Jesus to rescue you if you are truly sorry for going your own way and he will take away the punishment for your sin. And you can ask the Lord Jesus to rescue you right where you're sitting. And I wonder, will you turn from going your own way today? Well, the shepherd, he was delighted that he had found the lost sheep. He was so delighted that he wanted everyone to know the good news that the sheep had been found. And so he had a party and he invited all of his friends and neighbours to celebrate. But the religious leaders, they were confused. They didn't understand what the Lord Jesus was trying to tell them. So the Lord Jesus explained, and he told them that whenever someone turns from going their own way, there is great joy in heaven. And I wonder, will there be a party in heaven today? Let's pray before we have our quiz. God, I thank you that you have shown how much you love and care for each one of us. By sending your son, into the world to die on the cross to take the punishment for our sin and i thank you that you can be our good shepherd and that you can rescue us from being lost from you forever and i pray for any boy or girl that hasn't asked you to be their good shepherd that you would help them to understand the danger that they are in and that they would turn from going their own way in your name i pray amen Hello boys and girls, I hope you're all enjoying Sunday school and 
I just want to say thank you for Lynn for doing the talk today about the lost sheep. And now we're going to do our quiz, which I've drawn out, drawn out all these little sheep for you. And um, behind them is points, and there's different uh, scores from like 10 to 15 to 20 or even 25. So we can see who wins. If it's the boys or the girls, we'll have to find out. But the first question is for the boys. And the first question is, the re religious leaders looked down and judged others as they thought they were better than most people because they obeyed lots of rules. But what story did Jesus tell the religious leaders to help them see and understand that they were lost? The religious leaders looked down and judged others as they thought they were better than most people because they obeyed lots of rules. But what what story did Jesus tell the religious leaders to help them see and understand that they were lost? Correct. A story about a good shepherd and a lost sheep. Now I'm going to pick one of the little sheep here. So we'll see. We'll go for this one here. And it's 20 points for the boys. That's really good already. That's a good start. For the boys now, so this is the first question for the girls. And this is a very short question, so it should be pretty, pretty easy. So question two is, how did the sheep become lost? How did the sheep become lost? Correct. It went its own way. So, let's see, we'll pick a sheep for the girls. Um, this one down here. Oh, well done, girls. You got 25 points. That's a good start as well. <laughs> You're all on really good points now, so it's we'll see if we can keep it up throughout it. Now, this is the second question for the boys, and it's another short question, so it should be an easy answer. It says, how are we like the lost sheep? How are we like the lost sheep? Correct. He goes on, our, on his own way instead of following God's way. We are born into sin and live our own lives, and we reject God. We forget about God and we just decide to make us the king of our own lives instead of making God the king of our lives. So we'll pick a sheep. We'll go to the top one here. See, and it's 15 points for the boys. So it's a good start as well. That's on, that's 35 points for the boys so far. So we're doing really well. So this is the second question for um, the girls. And is, how did the shepherd show that he loved the lost sheep? How did the shepherd show that he loved the lost sheep? Correct. He decided to go and search for it. He want, wanted the sheep to be found. And he didn't want it to be lost. So we'll pick... We'll go from the top again. We'll go for this one. And it's 10 points for the girls. So we're at a tie. Both have 35 right now. So it's neck and neck right now. So we'll see what happens in the next few questions. So this is the third question for the boys. And it's another very short one. With a very easy answer. And it is, who is like the shepherd in the Bible lesson? Who is like the shepherd in the Bible lesson? Correct, it's Jesus, the Son of God, um, is depicted as the shepherd in the Bible lesson. So, let's see. We'll go for this one here. And it's 20 points for the boys. So that's another good one for the boys now. So that's the... 220s already for the boys, so we're doing well. Um, let's see, this is the third question for the girls, and it is, what did Jesus do so that those who are lost can be found? I'll repeat that again. What did Jesus do so that who are lost can be found? Correct. He died on the cross to take the punishment for our sin. He died on the cross for my sin, and he died on the cross for your sin because Christ loves you. And let's see, we'll pick, hmm, we'll go for this big one over here. And it's 10 points for the girls. So that's a good one as well now. So it is. And this is the last question for the boys. Um, we only have two sheep left, so I need to see what happens. So let's see. The last question for the boys is, when the shepherds found the sheep, he took it home. How can you be found by Jesus? So I'll, re I'll say that again. When the shepherds found the sheep, he took it home. How can you be found by Jesus? Correct. By asking Jesus to rescue you from being lost. If you truly, if you are truly sorry and for going your own way. So you're truly sorry for um, being a sinner. You're truly sorry for disobeying God and going your own way. 
living your sinful life and you flee from that sin, you turn away from it. So you turn away and you go the other way and trust Christ. That's how you can be found by Jesus. So we'll pick the last number. We'll go for the small one of fellas. It's only a five points. That's the lowest one for you, so, <laughs> unfortunately. So, so this is the last question. I have only one sheep left. So, this is for the girls. What happens in heaven when you turn from going your own way and going God's way instead? What happens in heaven when you turn from God uh, from going your own way and going God's way instead? That's correct. There's a party in heaven. There's joy. There's joy in heaven. There's delight in heaven um, over your salvation. When you turn to Christ, there'll be angels singing in heaven. And there's m so much joy over someone who is saved. After one sheep is found and one lost and they're saved, there is so much joy over it. So this is the last question, and or the last sheep. And there's 20 points. So... It seems neck and neck. I'm going to uh, tally up and see what the result is. So we'll be back in a second. So we're back with the results of the quiz. And it was really, really close. Really, really close. Neck and neck. So the boys got 60 points, which is a really good. Really, really good. And the girls got 65. So congratulations, girls. Boys, we're just we're just that close by five points, unfortunately. But he's all done well. And thanks for coming to the quiz. Thanks for coming to Sunday School. I hope you've all enjoyed it and learned more about God, learned more about Jesus, and learned more about being a Christian. So just hope to see you next week. And we pray that you and your family are all doing well during this time. God bless.